Okay, so this type of question is what we generally refer to as a boat question because most of the time the context is a boat. Sometimes it's a plane, okay? In either case, we have an object that can move at a certain velocity in one direction and there's some other force pushing it in another direction. If it's a boat, then it's the current in the river pushing it downstream. If it's a plane, then it's usually wind pushing it off course. Okay? These are kind of realistic situations that if you were you know, rowing a boat or piloting a plane, you would have to deal with. All right, so in this question here, in number nine, we have a boat that can travel on still water at three meters per second. So that's basically the maximum speed of the boat. As long as it's not going into the current or with the current, it can move at three meters per second. Everybody with me there? Obviously, if I row, if I go into the current in this boat, I'm going to go faster or slower? Slower, okay? And if I go with the current, obviously that's easier. I'm going to go faster, all right? What if I go slightly into the current? Will that change my velocity? It will, because then I'll have some component of that three meters per second that is going in the same direction as the current, all right? So in this question, we have to read it carefully. It's, it's kind of a tricky read, okay? So we'll draw a picture of this situation. That's the river, the squiggly blue lines, okay? All right, um, so the boat can go three meters per second and wants to travel north perpendicular to the current. So that means it wants to end up doing this, okay? It wants to end up going straight across the river. The only way for me to end up going straight across the river though is to do what? Yeah, to turn an angle into or with the current into the current a little bit, okay? I want the current to push me back to straight across the river. Everybody follow me on that. If I just try and row straight across the river, I'm gonna end up down here somewhere, agreed? All right, so they're saying, I wanna end up going straight across the river. So that means the maximum speed of the boat, three meters per second, is going to go this way. And then the current is going to go this way. So the combination of these two vectors, okay, the current, which they tell us is 1.2 meters per second, and the boat, which is 3.0 meters per second, will produce me going directly across the river. Everybody all right with that? Okay, so in this case, I know the hypotenuse of the triangle, don't I? Okay. My resultant isn't the hypotenuse. That's like a first. Okay, We haven't ever done a problem where the resultant didn't end up being the hypotenuse of the triangle. In this case, the resultant is over here. It's the black line. All right, so the question is, what direction does the boat have to go? Okay, What does the heading of the boat need to be? Well, that means I've got to find theta. I, I need to know what angle into the current I need to aim the boat so it'll end up going straight across the river. Well, do I have the other, do I have two sides of that triangle? Can I find that angle? Yeah, it's just gonna be trigonometry. Right? I have the opposite side to the angle and I have the hypotenuse. Which trig function will that be? Sine. All right, so I'm gonna go that theta will equal sine to the minus one of uh, 1 1.2, the opposite side, over the hypotenuse, 3.0. Okay, so when I do that, I should get 24 degrees west of north or into the current. Since they gave us compass directions, we should say west of north, okay? But that does mean 24 degrees into the current in order to end up going straight across the river, okay? In the end, is there very much work to do with that question? No, most of that question is intuitive, okay? That means it's you read it and interpreted it in your mind, pictured it in your mind, and were able to get to the math, okay? The math wasn't difficult, the problem was could I interpret the question enough to get me there? Okay. Now, other types of boat questions might involve something like this. Okay, so I've got my river and I'm told that it's 100 meters across. Okay, so I know the distance the river is wide. And then they tell me that I have a boat that can go, let's say we'll use the same boat, three meters per second. Okay, so if I row the boat like this, at three meters per second, where am I gonna end up? I'm gonna end up over there, right? Because the stream is going to take me downstream, 
like this. And now my resultant will be the hypotenuse because it'll be faster, right? Now the current is kind of pushing with me a little bit. Well, actually it's not really with me. I'm just going to end up going downstream because it's, I'm not rowing into it at all. Everybody okay with that? All right. So, um, Let's say I know that this number is, if we said they're the same numbers as before, so this number is 3.0 meters per second, and this one is 1.2 meters per second. How far downstream will I end up? Okay, that would be a very common question for that. Nope. just downstream how far downstream will i end up because obviously this would if i rode straight across i'd end up here but i'm not going to end up there because i'm not going to end up rowing straight across right i'm going to end up down here somewhere okay i want to figure out how well that didn't work out well at all i want to figure out what this distance is okay how far downstream that's supposed to be a d okay will i end up with me there? All right, so here's what I know. I'm crossing the river at three meters per second. Okay, the current doesn't affect how fast I'm getting across because the current and the, and the boat are perpendicular. Okay, so I'm crossing at three meters per second. How far across is it? 100 meters. Can I figure out how long it'll take me to get all the way across? Okay, the whole time I'm going across, I'm also going downstream okay these things are both happening at the same time i'm rowing across and the current's pushing me downstream so since i know i have to go 100 meters and i know i'm moving at three meters per second i should be able to figure out how long it would take me to get across everybody okay with that so it's going to be 300 or 33.3 uh, repeating seconds to get across the river Okay. The entire time I'm in the river, I'm also moving downstream at 1.2 meters per second. So now can I figure out how far downstream I'd end up? Okay. So the time is the same. I move downstream until I get to the other side. Okay. So that means that D equals V times T. It's just now I'm using the speed of the water. All right, so I'm going to end up 40 meters downstream. I'll travel 100 meters across and end up 40 meters down. Okay. That's sort of making sense. These are what we call like two dimensional questions where two things are happening at the same time. All right, kind of leads us into the uh, last part of the unit, which is projectile motion. When you throw something in the air, it is moving both vertically and horizontally at the same time. Okay, like if I was to throw a ball to Michael in the back there, okay, it would be moving vertically because gravity would be accelerating it and it would be moving horizontally from me to him. Okay, we're doing both of them at the same time while a boat in a river is going both across and downstream at the same time. That's the one I want you to try. Boat question. Okay, we've just talked about both kinds of boat questions. Now see if you can do that one. 